Hey guys, welcome to App Favorites. This is a weekly segment that I'm gonna be putting out specifically about my favorite apps that I have discovered across the week. Firstly, I really do apologize that I'm doing it in selfie mode. The tripod has broken and I really haven't been able to fix it. I've spent some time doing it. I really can't work it out. So today I'm gonna to be focusing on three applications. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump over to the phone, uh, the iPhone, because all of these applications are iOS ready, but I'm gonna be jumping over to the phone to demonstrate some of the core features that I like about each application. The applications that I'll be talking about today is specifically Calendars 5, which is a calendar application, um, Simply Day, which is also a calendar application to a brand new one, and finally Grid Diary, which I found very impressive, very impressive, which is a journaling application. So the first application I mentioned is Calendars 5, and this is something that, as I said, I'd had to find it due to Sunrise's disappearance. Um, as you can imagine, finding a new application is tough. That meets the greatness of Sunrise, but I was able to discover Calendars 5 by Riedel. And as you can see here, a very simplistic application. Up in the top-hand corner, you can change the viewing, so you can actually add tasks. You can see it in the list view, day view, week, and month view. One thing I really like about the application is it's very simple to use. Um, you can actually start adding tasks straight away. You can hit down and be very specific. But the one thing it does have above Sunrise is the ability to actually add intelligent input tar um, activities or events. So for example, plan my week tomorrow at 3 p.m. We'll actually input that straight into um, your actual calendar, which is nice. And you can also add tasks alongside got a really nice kind of broad view so I really like the way that it's designed um, I don't tend to go in the uh, list or calendar view just based on uh, the experience there I'm not too sure it kind of uh, explains stuff well enough anyway I'm really liking this application so far it's very simple to use there is a price to it uh, I believe it's $2.99 um, but well worth the money Simply Days, and this is a new application that I was recommended uh, both via Product Hunt and also a couple of friends. Shout out to Enrico Nala, who I haven't replied to the text yet, but he's also sent me this. As you can see, uh, a very simple calendar application, but with a kind of very minimalist approach. So as you can see here, um, it's got kind of a, like a transparent background. You can click into tasks, um, events and actually see the kind of context to them, uh, which is great. So as you can see here, you can invite people, you can add a place, attach anything, or uh, even see a link directly. What's nice about this as well is you can add tasks, uh, you can add events, sorry, you can add events down from here, which is quite nice, and even reminders too. Reminders pop up on the right-hand side. One thing you have to do is scroll through and click into each of them, uh, which is quite strange but I, I kind of got used to it after a while. The other core feature that it does is on the right-hand side, if you has hit this um, email button, which should work, there we go. Um, I haven't actually connected an email yet, but what it does do is it allow you to kind of bring in all your email accounts, but attach uh, each individual email to a certain date, uh, allowing you to kind of give a bit more context there uh, when you're organizing meetings and things like that. So it's kind of trying to be your email reminder and event uh, experience but i kind of only would keep this for calendar that's why i haven't attached email yet anyway i'm going to give this a play around and see what uh, i think after a week so the final application i've been raving a bit about on social media anyway uh, what it does do is allow you to kind of plot out your vision uh, and that sounds a bit strange, but essentially it gives you these grids, hence grid diary in the title. Uh, you can put any of the, uh, you can customize any of the grids. So for example, I've put in the first couple of blocks, you know, what is the vision for your day? Did you wake up with a strong mental attitude? It asks you these questions. So I, I fill out the first three in the morning and the third three in the evening. And it kind of gives me a bit of kind of self awareness around each uh, kind of day that I go through. Um, I fill these out and what it does do is it logs it in kind of uh, diary sort of style um, and you can also add, so if I click into here, you can also add up here, you can add your happiness for the day 
and also the weather and what it was like. You can also bookmark them. Really nice free experience, but a great way for you to start really kind of analyzing your day. The first three are really important. I'm starting to get into a pattern of doing it. As you can see, I haven't done it today, but um, at the weekend, I tend to kind of slack off from doing it. Helps me to keep clear in a week. Uh, I'm really enjoying this application. Very well built as well. Um, you can scroll through the days. So if you sort of up here, you can scroll through the days quite easily. Um, very nice, very nice sound effects too. Anyway, so guys, they're the three apps of this week. I'm looking forward to sharing some more with you over the coming weeks. Um, please do follow my weekly email. I'm trying to put out more content to help you guys. I'm discovering great stuff on Product Hunt and also sharing some great articles with Lifehack and people like that. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you very much for following. I'll be doing some more of these. I'm going to Cyprus in a week and a half now, so I'll hopefully be doing a few more of them too, uh, uploading them from abroad, which is great. Thank you very much. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.